Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the first episode of Hello Kinira Mosaic, the second season of Kinira Mosaic. And yeah, I really enjoy Kinira Mosaic quite a bit, so I'm certainly looking forward to getting into this. I tried to record this reaction uh, a little bit ago, but I was having some lag issues because I had a 1080p version, which is usually fine, but for some reason I just couldn't handle playing the video and recording with OBS at the same time, it just was lagging the video. So to fix that, I just re-encoded it to 720p instead. So that delayed me for like a good 15 minutes, but yeah, hopefully it works better now. So let's try it. Three, two, one, play. And there's my cat, he's closer by than usual. Yeah, it looks simply playing much better this time. Just, I don't know why I was having such issues. I mean, Poppy's excited. So yeah, just give him a pet, you know? Like this. Pet. Aw. It's a nice picture. Unfortunately, the sums are at top right now, but... I'm sure that will change soon. Can I crawl on a bed with Shinobu? Or you can wake her up, but I like my idea better. <laughs> Good morning. That's something I would love to wake up to. Love the English so much. <laughs> yeah, no time to flirt. We have school to go to. Which means you have to run a school of toast in your mouth. You saw me. Glad to see you're awake, too. <laughs> yes. Oh. Morning poke. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> wow. That's mean. That's not true. Don't be mean to poor Alice. <laughs> wow. Too early in the morning to be bullied, Asami. <laughs> yes, that's, this is a serious matter, Asami. You don't joke about these things. Yeah, I guess it was kind of meaner to, to Shinobu than it was to Alice, but... Yes, the gang is all back together now. Well, almost. Cotton should show up soon. <laughs> she really was. That was uncalled for. Just the sudden English catches me, catches me off guard a bit. <laughs> Good morning, Cotton. I'm glad you can make it. <laughs> yes, it's just as shiny as it was last year. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, indeed. Don't don't discourage that. We need more of that. If blonde girls want to cuddle with each other, they should be encouraged to. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah, that's sad. Still very sad. <laughs> yes. As usual. Ohio, good giant must right back at you. <laughs> uh, must be great to be in a class with Cotton. <laughs> yes, we may be separated for a little bit, but we'll see each other again. So, you know, cheer up. You are with Yoko. That's, that's cool. It definitely looks like spring. <laughs> As am I. I could listen to her speak English all day, I swear. Are you trying to get even closer? <laughs> yeah, ooh. What are you reading? That looks really good. <laughs> oh, kissing. Really? Oh. Oh, that. That's less exciting. Are you actually coming over to me? You're distracting me, cat. It's okay. She's cute when she takes our stuff, so it's all good. Are you trying to get the, the subtitles? <laughs> you can't get the anime girl's boots. Yes, yes, please. Give her all the smooches. She'll appreciate it. <laughs> right, do you want to be on camera that badly? Did you finally realize that's a thing? But yes, back to class. <laughs> I 
attendance. Oh wow, Kainan, you're really uh You very slowly got on my lap. Yes. She's very pretty. Is it English related? <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, that's always nice. Good to hear. <laughs> More importantly, Shinobu's not here. They just give it time. <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> yeah, she said it in such a nice way, though. It almost didn't sound that way. I know, right? Karasuma's best teacher, so... Oh, the other ones seem nice, too. <laughs> Is she that... Hearing that made her day. Are you okay, Karen? You need to wake up? You need to kiss more girls to wake up? If so, you should do it, so. Uh, she probably can. I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, they need each other. Yes. <laughs> she said, I love you. Well, that too. You really want to participate in today's video, don't you? <laughs> no, that's they never been. <laughs> At least Alice was able to learn Japanese, which is impressive. <laughs> we see what she does in class, plays with the blonde hair. I don't blame her. I want to do that as well. Yes. Uh, yes. Sure, why not? Can't go to the microphone. Oh. Oh, nice. That's a fun game. Let me, let me, let me switch seats. Yeah, putting her in front of Shinobu. Aw, that's, that would just crush her. I understand why you did it, but that's just horrible. It wouldn't surprise me if you could pull that off. You can still see Karen, though. But yeah, poor Shinobu. Yes, uh, you'll survive. <laughs> oh, Aya, my, my true love, and is that Aya running over there? <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Yeah. You can't be Sundere when you do that, Saya. Yeah. I know you were. It was mutual. I see some hand holding over there. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they forced that hard. <laughs> Uh, but I love the handholding. I need more of that. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure they cared a lot. Yes, a little bit. Are you okay, Cotton? I feel like I'm asking that a lot. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're... Oh, okay. That's... I would like to have seen that. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you would like that more than Cotton would. <laughs> oh, uh, behind you, Cotton. You kinda got the tiger. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she seems like a no-nonsense teacher. <laughs> Oh, man, she's just getting all up into her. Yeah, that's all that matters. Don't you understand that? I would like to see that. Yeah, don't bully poor Cotton. I know that, but still. It's, it's still.
Uh, hard to say. <laughs> You're not taking this very seriously, Cotton. Yeah, she doesn't seem like a bad person or anything. I think she's just trying to be a good teacher. Yeah. She was obviously scolding you a bit, but she wasn't being, like, mean about it. <laughs> Man, that feeling when nobody's on your side. <laughs> that they do. <laughs> that is a beautiful face on her. Oh. Way to bring us down, Yoko. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that will go well. <laughs> really? I feel like this will not work. <laughs> yeah, she's a pretty diligent teacher. <laughs> Uh, do we all have to be involved with this? <laughs> it makes it hard to talk when there's more people involved. Yeah, definitely a good person. <laughs> it's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> He's gonna catch you guys. Which is not good of a diligent of a person. Yeah. There's not gonna be any dirt to find. We were just watching you because we like you. Oh. I mean, she does look pretty cool. Yes. I hope you do your best. But yeah, my cat now wants out, so I'm gonna pause the video and let him out in 3, 2, 1, pause. Okay, three, two, one, resume. <laughs> wow, yeah, she is a pretty nice person, but it seems like she's easily misunderstood. Meanwhile, Katasuma, who's like loved by everyone, she can learn a few things, a few things about her. <laughs> wow, that was great. No, oh. <laughs> I know, right? I mean. You need some tips from her. You're just more intimid intimidating than she is. That's not really... I mean, if she wants a strip, let her. Okay, here we go. I was expecting this. You could try dressing more cute. Or smile <laughs> Okay, of course. This is what she would suggest. I'm not even- I don't even know why I'm surprised. That's- that would work though. You might get scolded by the principal or something, but that'd work. For a second I thought she was actually considering the bunny rabbit thing. But yeah, smile more, maybe get some head pats to the students, maybe some hugs if you're feeling very bold. It'll go a long way. Also, dressing less formally would probably also help. Oh? What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> really? Yes, those are some eyes full of love. I mean, we already knew she loved Shinobu a lot. <laughs> So what's your takeaway from seeing uh, the teacher like that? Did he make you realize she's a good person? Good to hear. Really? I guess, I guess so. I guess I see it now. As long as she... I... Wow. Again. Come on, Cotton. Come on, Sensei, give her a hug from behind. It'll, it'll help. I would have loved to have seen that. Oh well. 
But yeah, the teacher is very, very attractive, though. <laughs> yes, that's, that's totally what you say to a teacher. Uh, yeah, I think there may be some eating going on here. I mean, she's not going to let you disrespect her, you know, in front of the class, even if she's a good person. <laughs> yes, even though she doesn't know a word of English aside from hello. <laughs> wow, you are a weird person, Shinobu. More stalking. Ah, no, <laughs> mine now. Yeah, I could only imagine what she would write about Shinobu in there. Probably not the kind of things you want to be read out loud. <laughs> what are you guys doing now? <laughs> I don't get it either. Oh, are we all members? I know you are. But... <laughs> Is she no boo? She's not an easy girl to understand. Yes? <laughs> what? I I don't believe you, Shinobu. I don't think she's competent enough to live a double life. <laughs> Why not? Yay! Let's investigate her. It'll be a fun activity. I'm fine, thank you for asking. <laughs> You. I like you. Yes, I was waiting for that. Yeah, that's what she wanted to hear. Even if it wasn't it was immediately what she wanted. Uh, oh well. I mean, it's true. I don't know what other answer you're expecting. What are you gonna ask? An animation. That was a nice animation. She turned it around. Wow, maybe she's maybe she is more skilled than I thought. <laughs> wow, again we're not gonna <laughs> Again we missed the point. <laughs> wow, Shinobi, you're good. Wow. Where did you get that outfit? <laughs> and I hope you wear it more. <clears throat> well, we already knew that. Yeah, everybody knows that. All hail the Union Jack. Has it revealed anything? Well... Yeah, I don't know what you expected to get from that. I mean... Possibly? Yoko! The big feet, Yoko. Like compared to Shinobu's feet. <clears throat> Thinking about blonde girls. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't... It's... it's no, we can't understand her. <laughs> I mean, you knew her as a child for a little bit. I mean, Kata wouldn't be able to help this at all. We're talking about childhood. <laughs> yes, I know. You want to marry her? She's pretty serious. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. Man, wow, she was really blushing there. Yeah, she plays with Cutten's hair in class. Blonde Girls Club. Is that really a magazine? <laughs> yes, that's why she fell in love with you, with the blonde hair. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I mean, well, yeah, I guess that had a lot to do with it. But she wanted to go there for a reason. Oh, Shinobu, when did you get here? You were really there, Shinobi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would defeat the purpose. Yeah. No way that was the only reason. Huh. <laughs> Aside from hospital, that was pretty good pronunciation. <laughs> but she failed at hospital. More English, just... The English is always great. <laughs> you should have asked her to be your tutor. You still haven't learned any English, though. But I guess that's nice. Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess so. You you purify my heart, Alice. <laughs> uh, the blonde girls are weird too. I guess we did, and I suppose that's something for Alice to be excited about. Oh, that's somewhat seductive look there. <laughs> that that would be paradise, I guess. Uh. That was a great teasing from Cotton. That was... I love that. I love all these girls. Uh... Uh... Was Alice. Yeah. We know Alice is what it really comes down to. <laughs> It's a secret. <laughs> oh, I got in. It's fine. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched an episode of this, and it's just... I'm so much happier now that I've watched the episode. <laughs> Clingy got in. It can't be easy to walk the way, but it'd be worth it. It would be beyond worth it. Uh... This show just makes me so happy. Am I alone in that? Just, I feel so much happier now. I love everything in life. Just, life is amazing. That's what this anime makes me feel. Yeah, poor Ayaya. Onoka, I'm sure you'll get more screen time this season. A new teacher, whose name I will try to remember. Oh, what was that? <laughs> From the siblings. That was a bit weird, but okay. But yeah, even the less important characters are joining less important characters are joining in the circle, which is nice. That is very sad. And we live together, so we can survive. A uh, three legged race sounds Painful. It was a good idea, but it just came with consequences, I guess. But yeah, that was the first episode of Hello, Kinero Mosaic. And yeah, hello, Kinero Mosaic. It's great to have you back in my life. But uh, yes, uh, Kuzahashi, I believe, is the name of the teacher. I think that's who that was. But yeah, this episode, basically, we have Reed 
it's the first episode of a new season, so we're like, hey, everyone, let's reintroduce ourselves to each other, you know, let's remind the audience what we're all about and how things currently stand. Because, yeah, we got new classes at the end of last episode, so we kind of had to remind ourselves of that. We have Ayaya, who's in the class with Shinobu, and Conan, and then you have Yoko, who's in class with Alice. So this means that Alice is separated from Shinobu, and Yoko is separated from Ayaya, both of which are very, very sad and unfortunate. However, the one silver lining for, for for Alice, for Shinobu, is that she still has a blonde in her class, so we decide we're playing with her hair in class, which I'm sure Conan has no problem with. However, that's very distracting, so, you know, she kind of needs to focus, so I kind of got in the, in the middle of that, which made Shinobu upset, so I do definitely have sympathy for her. But the big thing with this episode was actually... Uh, Kazahashi, the teacher, because she's like not quite the same as Karasuma. Uh, Kuzahashi. I, I don't think I said it right before. Kuzahashi. I'm gonna try to remember that, but anyway, she's a teacher like Karasuma sensei, but she's much more strict. Like, she's not quite the, the baby in kind of kind of teacher that Karasuma is. So, as a result, she comes off as a bit more intimidating. You know, she wears that suit, she very much scolds people when they need to be scolded without hesitation. So people are a bit more, you know, weary of her. So, but it's kind of a problem because she wants to be closer to the students, similar to what Karasuma has. So she asks for advice. Hey, so how do I, how do I get, you know, get along with my students better? Well, try wearing bunny ears, which, you know, I probably should have seen that coming, but I didn't because yeah, she she does that for Alice and it works for Alice. So. You know, why not just put ears on? I was really hoping she would do it. I kind of hope she would try it, but because that would be a good icebreaker there. But no, nah, I think that might be a bit too silly for her to, to do, even though I would have appreciated it. However, we did have a scene where she was in the bathroom being all like trying to, you know, smile and all that. But uh, and, and Cotton did see that, which kind of let her realize a bit more about the teacher, like like that she wasn't all bad and everything. But however, she had another run in with the teacher. But that, yeah, then she's like, no, no, she's definitely the the demon that I thought she was, the tiger, rather. So, yeah, I'm sure that we'll get along eventually, though. Just need to, you know, get used to each other and all that. Because it is a new environment, so Cotton, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But yeah, Cotton was pretty funny when she was like, the teacher's being mean to me. She's a tiger. It's horrible. Guys, please help. And then by the end of it, they were like, nah, you're pretty much in the wrong there, Cotton. She seems like a nice teacher to me. But it's like, no, you don't. You guys don't understand. But uh, yeah, they, they did, the dynamic between those two was not, was, did not start off too well, but I'm sure it will grow into something pretty nice. But yeah, definitely a lot of great Cotton moments this episode, just giving her food and how happy she was and all the smiling and excitedness and, you know, teasing, you know, teasing Alice and just a lot of great stuff with Cotton and the episode that I definitely, definitely enjoyed. Just all of her screen time is pretty, pretty great, I would say. And Kuzahashi is also a really great teacher. She has really cool design uh, and yet just really cute at the same time. So definitely glad they were able to pull that off. And she does seem very likable as well. So hopefully she can make some progress getting the students to, to like her. That'll pro probably be something we spend a few multiple scenes on, like her trying to make some progress with that. So I hope things do work out there. Because she's a nice teacher. She deserves to get along well with her students, you know. I kind of skipped over it, but we did have a pretty funny scene early on with Isami just <laughs> teasing poor Shinobu. Like, uh, Alice, your hair seems to be not as shiny as before. It's like, what, Isami? No, don't say that. Her hair is amazing. Don't don't scare me like that. But Isami, yeah, that's... She's a little bit of a tease. Um, but she still loves her, you know. We know how much she loves Shinobu and Alice as well, so... It's all good. We eventually got some, some uh, Shinobu stuff because Alice was kind of worried because, you know, she's not in the same class as Shinobu anymore, so that's obviously going to bring some anxiety up. And she is in the same class, well, Shinobu is in the same class as Cotton, so Shinobu still has a blonde in her immediate area. So it's understandable that she'd be kind of worried about what could come of that and wants to, get, wants to be able to know Shinobu a bit better and try to, you know, ease that anxiety. And we stalked her to try to, try to do that, but it, it did not work out very well. But Alice asking her, hey, Shinobu, what do you like besides, like, the foreign countries and stuff? Well, uh, I like you, Alice. Like, oh, uh, I, I, I'm I, glad to hear that, but that's not what I'm trying to learn. So we had some cute stuff from Alice. And then Aya tried, and then Shinobu turned that around and onto her, like, what about you, Aya? Are you doing okay? I know you're in a different class than us, so I just, I just, well, different class than Yoko, so I just, I want to make sure everything's going on with you, you know? Then she starts to get all teary, I'm like, oh, it's Shinobu. That was, that was funny, too. I really liked that scene. But yeah, Shinobu's a difficult nut to crack, really, with these roundabout methods. 
But eventually she just kind of talked to us about it. She's like, well, I mean, I was at the station one day and I saw a foreigner that needed help, but I didn't speak English, so I couldn't help. And then somebody else that did speak fluent English said, hey, hello, ma'am, how can I help you with this issue? Like, oh, yes, and, and all that. So, you know, that kind of inspired her to want to learn English to, to help with that sort of thing. And that, sound, that, that premise sounds kind of familiar. Like, I don't know, just <laughs> wanted to, to help people like that, but... I don't know. But it was nice that we get to know a little bit more about Shinobu. You know, Alice definitely appreciated that. And like I said, I really love when she, I really love that scene when Kana was like, hey, I got my uh, my Union Jacket, you know, Union Jack jacket. You want to you want to wear it? I got it all warmed up for you. You know, me, a cute foreign blonde girl. Like, yes, I would love that. And Alice was like, no, you, you can't do that. No. And then Kana running and running around. That whole scene, I just love that a lot. That was so cute. So great. Just I love all those scenes that really drive home the point of just how close the friends of these girls are all are. And it just makes me so happy to watch them do stuff like that. Cotton will always continue to be the light of my life. Just yeah, she being in her class is definitely a privilege. See anything else? Uh, just yeah, I'm just so much cuteness, so much happiness, new characters. Like Konika, I mean she was in season one, but I do think we're gonna get more of her in season two. So I'm pretty sure I have memories of that. But, uh, yeah, just Kusahashi is great. I want to see more of her as well. It's cool to have more than one teacher in the show. Like, Kadasuma is nice, but she's, like, the only relevant teacher. So I'm glad we have someone else, really, to, to get some focus. Especially since she's somebody that, like, pretty much everyone in the show uh, puts up with Karen's, you know, silliness or shenanigans. Because Karen is cute, adorable, lovable. So, you know, it's understandable why people do. So it's nice to have a, have a character that just, like, doesn't. She calls her out on when she's doing something wrong. Because everybody just kind of babies Karen a lot. Which, you know, that's fine. I, I do the same thing because I just... I fall for her charm as well, and so do most other people. But having somebody that doesn't in the show definitely leads to some new scenes. Like somebody that's actually willing to say, No, Karen, bad. You, you can't do that. This is this is serious. You can't just do that. So it's, it's cool. That's cool. I'm glad we have that. And she looked great in her Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes outfit. I wasn't ready for that. That was definitely a surprise. And we, had a, we also had a good amount of English this episode, which I got a lot, had a lot of fun with. I want an episode where it's just like entirely... De Alice speaking English to Conan. That would be great, wouldn't it? But yeah, hopefully they can survive being in different classes. That scene where Ayaya was like just running over to, to Yoko's class because she wanted to be with her, and then as soon as she got there, it's like it went full soon. Like, it's not like I really wanted to see her or anything, Baka. I just yelled, I just ran all the way here, and I'm sweating really hard because I wanted some exercise. Okay, I don't think she said that exactly, but she's being Sundere about that when she looks like that. So we've we've reached a point where you're going too far with the Sundere, Ayaya. I think we need to take a step back, but uh, yeah, just good stuff. Really great stuff all around. I just, I love this show and I will continue to watch it. Is kind of what I'm trying to say. Thank you for watching and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.